Tonight, the NSA's role in targeting drone strikes, Nokia's Android phone will ship, and Dyson funds robot housekeepers. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, episode 21 from Monday, February 10th, 2014. This episode is brought to you by 99designs. They connect businesses seeking quality, affordable designs with a community of more than 270,000 graphic designers. Visit 99designs.com slash TN2 to receive a free power pack upgrade valued at $99. I'm Sarah Lane, and let's get right into the tech feed. Digital magazine The Intercept premiered today. It's funded by eBay's Pierre Omidyar under his First Look Media organization and heads by award-winning journalists Glenn Greenwald, Laura Poitras, and Jeremy Scahill. The current focus of the website are disclosures from documents released by Edward Snowden. For example, one of the first pieces claims that the NSA uses electronic surveillance rather than human intelligence to determine drone strikes and cites a former military drone operator speaking anonymously who claims the NSA geolocates cell phone SIM cards of possible terrorists rather than specific individuals. The drone operator goes on to say that terrorists have been killed, but that absolutely innocent people have also been killed. Not only that, but that actual terrorists and their leaders can throw off the tactic by mixing SIM cards and randomly distributing them. The source says that strikes are often okayed without verification on who the person is carrying the phone, saying, quote, they might have been terrorists or they could have been family members who have nothing to do with the target's activities. Well, Microsoft is currently in the process of buying Nokia's phone business, but the Wall Street Journal reports that Nokia's rumored Android phone is real, possibly spectacular, and will ship later this month. The phone caters to emerging markets, and it won't promote some of the more obvious Google apps and services, according to these journal's sources. Instead, think of services created by Nokia and Microsoft, like Hear Maps and Mix Radio. The Android OS lets Microsoft and Nokia sell lower-cost phones. They typically can't handle Microsoft's Windows Phone OS. Nokia has dominated the Windows Phone market share after embracing the platform three years ago. Vacuum cleaner company Dyson is serious about giving us all some robot housekeepers. The company is collaborating with robotics researchers at Imperial College London and investing $8.2 million to develop a robot intelligent enough to clean your home. A new Dyson Robotics Laboratory will develop computer vision that will help robots navigate on their own and recognize objects, like telling the difference between clean and dirty clothes, only preparing the dirty clothes for laundry. It could also clear the table after a meal and, of course, vacuum your floor. Bitcoin exchange Mt. Gox halted Bitcoin withdrawals last Friday to address what it called a technical issue around sending Bitcoins to third parties. Today, they warn this potentially affects the entire Bitcoin community because the bug is in Bitcoin software itself and allows somebody to use the network to alter transaction details, making it seem like Bitcoins hadn't been sent into a wallet even if they had. The price of Bitcoin declined steeply following this news. The Coindesk Bitcoin price index showed a drop of over $100. However, Gavin Anderson of the Bitcoin Foundation says the real issue was not with Bitcoin, but between Mt. Gox's highly customized wallet software and their support procedures and their unpreparedness for what it calls transaction malleability. Anderson stresses that any company dealing with Bitcoin transactions and its own wallet software should include a way to validate transaction IDs in their own software. In some better Bitcoin news, Microsoft has added Bitcoin currency conversion to Bing beating Google. Conversion is as simple as typing in X currency to BTC with data provided by digital wallet company Coinbase. Bitcoin conversion is initially available in Australia, Canada, India, the UK, and the US, and will be rolling out to additional markets in the coming weeks. Well, coming up, one fish, two fish, oh my gosh, fish are driving vehicles now. But first, do you need a new great design? Maybe a new logo or a mobile app or a business card or a t-shirt, any kind of graphic design. You can find the right designer for your project at 99designs. Just go to 99designs.com with your fabulous idea. Explain what you're looking for. And dozens of designers from the 99designs community will submit designs created exclusively for you. You then give them your feedback 
Everybody refines their designs a bit, and then you select and pay for the design you like the best. Start your next graphic design project for as low as $199. Plus, if you go to 99designs.com slash TN2, you'll get a $99 power pack of services completely free. That's more designer time and attention. You get your design featured. You get about twice as many designs. It's a really good thing. Variety is great, and it's free. 99designs.com slash TN2. And we thank 99designs for their support of Tech News Tonight. Finally, have you ever felt that your fish needed a little bit more excitement than his little glass bowl existence? A new go-kart style invention by a company called Studio Dip, D-I-I-P, titled Fish on Wheels might have the solution. By combining a camera and a computer vision software, your fish can control a robot car just by swimming in a particular direction and explore the world without actually having to jump out of its tank and die. No price or release date is listed yet, but you can learn more about the Fish on Wheels and other image recognition technology from Studio Dip's website. Or you could, you know, get your fish a bigger tank and not put him through this torture. That's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. Please subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash TN2 or tell a friend. Our next newscast is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm Sarah Lane. You stay classy, planet Earth. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by cashfly.com.